That's all it is. We don't have the points to go to, at least, so that's why we're, we're making stories from <laughs> our players. <laughs> all right. Oh! Interesting. Dream Crusher. So, Michael... Michael? ...is one of our players that has not been on camera, has not shown up to the shop this season. It's been like two seasons, right? It's been a while. Um, he was, uh, he's a, a companion traveler to top eight competitor in season three. Uh, Josh, he played Black White Tokens. Remember? Mm, yeah. Remember? Yes, I do. I do. Now on this sort of Grixis Delver list. Yeah. Um, I don't know much else other than that it's Grixis colors and that there's Delver. Oh, okay. I don't that's, know anything That's what else. we're running with, that's guys. That's what we're... It could be some spicy is meatballs he playing, there. I don't know. Is he playing Wasteland? <laughs> I hope not. How about Volcanic but Island? it's possible. I mean, TJ is also a legacy player, so... So, we'll see. We'll see. Um... But we're going to do the Battle of the Grixis here. Battle of the Grixis. Ooh, an eight. What if he's also just playing Death Shadow in his he list? He could be. And, and he's playing Delver plus Death Shadow. I mean, why not? My goodness. Why not? All right, we're looking at seven cards. I see a Street Wraith. Cory Burke. Ah, okay. Ah, I got okay. You. I got you. So, a little bit more controlly. Sure. But then found the room to sneak him in there. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I see a Terminate. I like Terminate a lot. It's a pretty good card, I guess. Uh, oh, whoa. Dang it. Looks like TJ's opting to play Opt in his <laughs> list. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, me. <laughs> nope. Didn't like him. Going to six. So while we're waiting, guys, I've got good news for you. Oh? We we released some information today on, uh, on Twitter, and uh, I figured we needed to share that since we're less than a week away. And uh, it is Team Modern Magic Mondays is going to Baltimore. That is true, Team Modern Magic Mondays. <laughs> and you know what the funny part is? <laughs> that neither of us are playing Modern. <laughs> and we're not playing Modern. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, so... Um... A creeping tar pit for Michael. We'll talk more about that yes. after the match. I did, I waited too long for the buildup. <laughs> so I saw something and got distracted, and then... Here's a polluted Delta. Here comes Thoughtseize. We're, going to 15. We're at 15. Oh, he's also got a straight Wraith in hand. Tell me he goes to 13. Oh, we could. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll get rid of that Terminate. Yeah, it seems a little pesky. Otherwise, it's five lands plus... Culligan's command. No, looks like he doesn't want to. Darn it. Pass. Oh, he's got... No, it's just one. I got excited. No, he's I was like, oh, he's got two now. <laughs> Going to 122. Apparently, that was... A... <laughs> Back on that Martyr of Sands list. Red, black. Here's a blood crypt. Speaking of which, um, I get to borrow my two missing lands. Uh, sorry, I'm seeing all these people talk about lands and stuff. In the, yeah. the Here's the graveyard. street wraith. Um, Cycle. Because our season one champion's nice enough to let me borrow some. <laughs> uh, you're like, speaking of which, after I said blood crypt, and I'm like, where is he going with wait, this? What are you going to say about blood crypts? <laughs> it's just got really weird. Oh, all right. Oh, my gosh. Death Shadow is a 5-5? Five five? It's pretty good. And, and I'm going to oh, delve all these away. Golly. He says, well, you can feel free to shoot me for two damage with that cold guns command. Sure. But all those lands you're sitting with aren't going to help you. 
Ouch, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> now, that being said, it's been very one-sided when you think about how much life has been lost. Like, Michael's still sitting at 20. He hasn't fetched. He hasn't shocked. He hasn't done anything to himself. Uh, well, TJ's like, I'm at 8. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up? Turn 2. I'll go to 8 life. I'm helping no, you out with those lightning no bolts. No big deal. Scalding. <laughs> now it's like, can I kill you? Yep. Let's see. Inquisition. Coast is clear. Maybe. Colgan's mode. Oh, man. Deal two damage. Oh, man. Six. He's gonna go to three. <laughs> He's gonna... Yeah. Discard a card. Death Shadow. Seven plus Tassiger is four equals 11. Michael's down to nine. This is the power level of the Death Since Shadow deck. There's also a bolt here. I hope our modern player is ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that hopefully, you know, you'll win real quick. Oh, sure. You yeah. <laughs> you want me to tell you about my Friday experience? <laughs> yes, actually, I do. All right, we'll, we'll talk about All it. Right. Looks like he'll be fetching. Down to... Cut me into two bolts, please. Well, he's got one in hand. Well, that's what I'm saying. Cut me to so, another. Ah, uh, okay. Cut me to another bolt. Dude, I'll be red. dude, I'll tell you about it later. Red. Okay. All right. He's at seven. Our math was off. Oh, our math is off by one. We were close. It's like horseshoes and hand grenades. Ah, okay. Here's a tassiger. It didn't change. <laughs> it did, but it didn't like you. Alright. Checking his math. Mm -hmm. Math checks out. Mm -hmm. Okay, last time I looked at his hand, he didn't he didn't have bolt, right? He did not have bolt. Okay, last so time. he's got bolt now. So TJ is a little unsure. He's had a chance to draw, what, two cards since he looked at his hand? Just the one, just the bolt. Just the bolt? Yeah. Okay. So, he, so... it could be a Snapcaster, I guess. So he just decides... Does he get... He, yep. Yeah, swing. I will die. And we'll lose the Tassiger. Just... But Michael's... Kind of so dead. He's kind of dead. But So he could... He gets one more draw. Right. Plays a swamp. We got... Is that another Tassiger he I drew? Think, yeah. Wow. Wow. There's not much left in his graveyard now to be able to cast it. Wow. Oh, wow. Uh, Coast is clear. I think he was more of a threat when he wasn't tapped out. Yeah, I like swinging with both. Shadow yeah. is a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, 
Yeah, I like that play a lot, what Lyle and Pop Pop are saying in chat of uh, bolting last turn because um, he does have an unblockable land. True. Right? So he could try to do something like that. No, I don't think he, he had the bolt until the shadow was already on the board. Right. At a high life total. Oh, man. Did he just draw a Snapcaster? Can't tell. But he only has one red source. Why? Yeah, I mean, it's, so. it's just... You just draw it up that way, right? Like... Did you pick the Punisher hat because Punisher comes out this weekend? It does it come out this weekend? It does. On Netflix. Oh, that is this weekend. It is. Um, it's also Daredevil on the other side. I know, but I, the um, reason I ask is because Punisher comes out this weekend. Yep, I clear, totally planned that. that but was, clearly you didn't sell it that way. Uh, yeah, I, of course I did. I, I untaps. Yep. No, I didn't. I forgot that it was this weekend. That's all right. I think we're just dead. So he can activate his man land, block Death Shadow, Bolt, Bolt TJ. TJ. Yeah, here we go. Untap. Here we go. Draw Bolt. <laughs> well, the problem is he still only has one red source, so it's like. Draw a Ruin. What? Ooh. Pushed the tar pit. So before the lockers. Yeah, alright, now we're now we're now we're cooking. Activate. Bolt. <laughs> myself. <laughs> Kill myself. I don't I don't know if there's any way around the situation. This is no, not anymore. He ba basically he had to have had that tar pit live so he can be able to try to buy an extra turn. Mm -hmm. Oh he's oh Snapcaster getting in the way. Now I'll block. Please. Yeah. <laughs> this is also smart the way he's blocking and not blocking Death Shadow to try to force um, TJ to maybe overcommit. Sure. And maybe fetch to get another point exactly. or two down. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But you know how, notice how TJ was in chat telling us that he specifically was at seven not to die to Snapple. Yep. Yep. Playing it smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know who would die to snap bolt? Yeah. <laughs> Me. Because <laughs> I would have just been like, "Let's go, boys." <laughs> no big deal. Play too much, too much become immense in my day. He's got a Colton's command, but only one red source. There's still only one red source. I think on that fetch he needed to get like a, either a steam vents blood or crypt blood or crypt. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of Blood Crypt. <laughs> Blood Scour. Myself. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Gets a Street Wraith. Make a zombie fish? Or was it a Gurmag? Um, Could have been a Gurmag. Well, he had a Gurmag in his hand. Yeah, that's true. So... Coming at you, like so. I mean, yeah, it was a street right you drew. Two two creatures, two life. <laughs> I opt to thought scour myself. <laughs> Only one red source. Yep. Bolt yourself. I think we're dead, boys. Bolt yourself. <laughs> yourself. <laughs> the only optimal play <laughs> is to take it away from your opponent. He's in the tank. I don't... Alright. Bolt, Bolt myself. Alright, you <laughs> took it from your opponent. I like it. Any chance you get. That's how you go down. <laughs> Swinging. Mm -hmm. Or with magic. <laughs> so, uh, I saw that you also got to see Thor Ragnarok. I did. I did get to see it. What'd you think? 
I think it's a solid movie. Mm-hmm. It's a solid film. Did you see it? I did. We All got right. to see it when we were up in New York. Oh, good. So. Good, good, good. No. Uh, All cards on the table. Oh, hold on. Don't forget you can use Berserk to kill opponent's creatures in Legacy. That is true. As long as they've attacked. You can't just Berserk them if they haven't attacked. Well. Because it won't kill them. Oh. Fun fact. Fun fact. Mm-hmm. That is true. Any tips and tricks for Legacy, keep spouting them out, because I, I, I could definitely use more tips and tricks. Mm. I mean, you can. <laughs> no, I really liked the... Looks um, like two Terminates and two... Uh, yep. Um, that Graveyard Hate card. Yep. Um you can draw a card off of mm-hmm. I forgot its name mm-hmm. um Nihil Spellbomb that's it Nihil Spellbomb good job thanks good good for my one for tonight good <laughs> job <laughs> um no I really like I really liked that it was a good mix of comedy and action mm-hmm. like it definitely had more of a Guardians of the Galaxy feel with how they're using the humor for it mm-hmm. not like over the top because space like, is funny. Well, that too, you know. Like, yeah. Who who doesn't like who who doesn't <laughs> outer space? Because we didn't we didn't do space in the last Thor movie, and it wasn't funny. It was just really sad. <laughs> right. That's true. You know that like like the the tone of each of the Thor movie, and I had this I, I had this conversation okay. with someone yesterday after I watched the movie. Uh-huh. The tone went from like to like meh like kind of sad you yeah, know yeah. Like, to immediately dark yeah and not just because of the dark elves right like but but just <laughs> like re- totally dark yeah yeah and then we went the complete 180 to just like but the thing about it was is i'm really glad that marvel waited to start introducing more like because in the the first thor movie it was really based on Earth. Yes. In Midgar. For all of you nerds out there, mm-hmm. Midgar. North um, mythology yeah. people. Uh, and then the second one, they, they started to like branch out to the different realms, right? Because they, they start talking about the elves, they involve the dark elves. Yep, yep. And that was very important because I can't think of his name right now. Uh, but the... Yo, Richard, what's up, dude? Um, the... Uh, the the main baddie Christopher Eccleston yeah, I, was like, I can't think of his name <laughs> um, he's the head of the dark elves right right and that's its own realm yeah right yep. but then in this one they start to branch out more talking about the different realms they start mm. evolving more like you know expanding the universe it, it, a little exactly, bit exactly but it's just mm. the Thor universe that they're expanding yeah but the thing that I liked most was they waited to do that until they had a budget. Mm. If they tried to do what they did in Thor Ragnarok ten years ago... Oh, it would not have been good. It would not have been good because they didn't have a budget. Mm. They would have been like, hey, check out these crazy things that's happening. And it would have been like some dude in a a tin can (laughs) suit being the destroyer. Yeah, yeah. It requires a lot of money. Mm. That's that's a good way to look at it. Um, Yeah. I definitely, yeah, it was like the first two Thor movies I wasn't, like, blown away by. No. Like. No. This one definitely is a step, it's a cut above. Yes. Yes. It's, 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 it's like actually, that. I think it's probably in my top three Marvel movies right I now. I can see that, yeah. It didn't, it didn't top Winter Soldier. Oh, me. well, that's hard to Winter do. Soldier really is by far do. the best Marvel movie they yeah. put out. If you don't agree, <laughs> I will see you after the I stream. Fight you. Yeah, no, no, no. I won't fight you. We'll just we'll hash <laughs> we'll it out have, like we'll adults. A, a nice heated discussion. Yes. Um, um, but it's definitely in my top three. Don't ask me what the third one is, though. Okay. Yeah, because I, I don't know if I can tell you right now. Right, makes sense. I'd have to go through the uh, the whole list the library. Thing, yeah. Um, I I liked the other Marvel characters that they incorporated into it yes absolutely you know, that, that i think it was great had a great feel old to it. and new mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know yeah uh valkyrie was a was a great was a great addition, addition yes to the to the story um definitely solid all right looks like the players are shuffled up and ready to go great to just have a little bit of movie discussion while we're waiting for the matches to start uh if you guys have not seen 
uh, Thor Ragnarok, please go and do so because it was a great movie. Also, Justice League's coming out. Um, so for those that are into more superhero movies, go watch that. I don't know when we're going to watch that one, but at some point. Because that seems to be the only time that I go to the movies now is pretty much I'm either going to see a superhero movie, I'm going to see Star Wars, or I'm going to watch some kid movie. Like an animated movie. Just, uh, just refresh. I don't... Has an affinity for artifact date. <laughs> 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 Opted for that one. <laughs> there were four copies two weeks ago, so a lot of people like to bring that in when they're thinking there might be less cyborg hate. Yeah, they do. Like, I think I have... Well, see, like, my anti-artifact cards are also designed to help protect me against um, Chalice of the Void and those sort of it's artifacts. Artifact. So, not necessarily against Affinity, but, oh, they pull double duty, I guess. So, going to 17, just an Inquisition. And first glimpse of a Delver there. Mm -hmm. Well, the Delver's already on the board. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 But uh, mm -hmm. he does get to know that it is a Delver base list then, mm -hmm. not just mm -hmm. uh, Grix's control. Right. I I tried Delver for Modern. I think you've tried it as well um, previously. It's been yeah, a while, so I've, I've, been, I've pretty much put Delver through its paces of yeah. Modern. I just am not not that happy with it. I just, I stare at the, the wizard, the human wizard, mm. and uh, I wonder why he hasn't turned into a bug yet, every time. Uh, Thoughtsies, and we're gonna just, uh, I think you probably take the push. Oh. Oh, oh. Well, if he doesn't, like, yeah, I think, you know, he's not that worried. Because if he's just saying, I'm going to play a Gurmog Angler or a Tassiger, I don't have to worry about your push, because your push can't kill my big guys. True. Teaches yeah, teaches. look at him flip. And he says in response, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> Hope that was fun, getting <laughs> excited about that. <laughs> that shock. And Michael will pass after that. He's got Ooh, Thought he's, Scour he's got and that Counter push. Squall in his hand. What a great card. Here's the Serum Visions. TJ would like to draw and then scry to. He draws a zombie fish. Which is pretty good. Uh, I think that's a Terminate plus something else. And they're yeah. both staying on top. Seems like a good plan. Oh, he's, he's got a point. <laughs> Cheat! <laughs> he's got a point. You are correct. He's saying this blood grip taps for blue now. I sure hope he doesn't play a blue spell, because we're going to have a problem. I think he has a Thought Scour in his hand. Oh, dear. Take the Thought Scour. Take the Thought Scour. Oh, no. Take the Thought oh, Scour. No. <laughs> he double checks this. Okay, what does this do again? Engineered explosives. Pretty good card. It's all right. It's one of those cards as a as a bad magic player as myself. I'm just like, why would you ever want to play that? And then someone plays it against me. I'm like, oh, oh, oh this sucks. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Nope, took the snapcaster. I like that. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. We're good. <laughs> We're good. All right. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> Bloodstained mire and pass. It's okay, guys. He was going to tap that. Yeah. He tapped that uh, 
watery grave himself. No big deal. Yep. I guess it was land terminate is what he had. Okay. Not a whole lot of action, more reaction for TJ. Yeah. I mean, you see the way his hand was built this time compared to how it was last time. It is that different, so. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to go for the thought scour. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Throws away a death shadow, which would have been a nice threat, but. Would have been. It. I mean, he knows there is that push still. So yeah. it's like, meh. He's okay with it. He's really hoping to try to get into, like, a fish or a tasker here. Did he shock himself? Oh, that was on the end step. That was end step. Okay. And yeah, looks like he will be opting for the fish. Because he's like, well, you have that fatal push. You can't fatal push this. Can't get around that. Making sure that he's got specific cards in his graveyard. Well, again, reactionary. A little bit, a little bit different of a of a deck right now, the the Death Shadow list, the way yeah. TJ's piloting. Like he's not, he's not kind of like all in. Like he's playing a lot more uh, defensively. Terminate that. Yep. And he counter can, squall. Oh boy. Two damage. Counter, counter that. that. Yeah, that also comes with experience of piloting sure. the list. Um, because I feel like a lot of players would kind of rush and be like, I just need to lose my life so I can play a Death Shadow. Mm -hmm. And I'll go to 10. True. Very true. The man has a point. Mm-hmm. Looks like he's checking a couple of his exile cards, make sure he's got what he needs. Yep. Yeah. Checking the numbers. Mm-hmm. I hear shuffling. There's always shuffling going on. Draw. Coming at you for five. Yep. Seems good. So Ooh. Michael's really hoping for a land here. Aha! Draws a swamp. He can now go for the snap terminate. He could. Get Ooh. Death Shadow. I would like to return this guy and make you discard. Yep. Or do two damage. I like the discard here, but... Um, and you do need to say what your modes are before, you know... Right. Because they have that ability to try to counter it and stuff. Yep. So we didn't get Death Shadow, got the Snapcaster. Yeah, and that's that's fine. I think he's he's ready for. He's feeling. Good he's it's it's more of attrition in this one. Yeah. I think he's he's not really worried about playing the death shadow. He's doing a good enough job with his fish. He also has a stubborn denial in hand, which is a really good it's card. It's like real good. <sighs> Snapcaster. I would like to terminate that. Yep. And he'll say, "I'm sorry. I'm going to just counter that." Yeah, and you can't do. Oh. Snapcaster. Oh. 
target push. push. Push the snap. Snap casts. I would like to terminate. Terminate, that, but it's going to get counter. denied. So basically Very saying, good. hey, we'll do this counter war. It's clean. You're going to lose this guy. It's clean. And now he's got a 5 5 that he can swing with. Yeah. Drops him to 8. Now, there is a cryptic that he can be able to tap down TJ's team. True. If he wanted to. TJ's one short, though. He is. One short. So the other, like, I think he has to do that play uh, because if TJ has a bolt or something, like, oh, well, he's digging. Thought Scour? Me? And... Oh. I don't necessarily oh. like this. I don't mind him thought scouring here. I think I would rather draw a card e based on what's in my hand. But I think yeah. if you're worried of, of him drawing into a counter spell, I guess, you know, that makes sense. Sure. Cosalike so okay. reveals engineered or terminate. It says we'll get rid of that. Mm-hmm. Double Fatal Push. Interesting. Serum Visions. <laughs> I did see one Terminator on top. He's got another Serum as well. Beats for seven. Well, we'll get rid of one Maybe of them. five. Michael just sitting with one push in hand. Oh, Liliana, the last hope. Yeah, she's good. Uptick, no targets. And Michael just <laughs> double push that angler. That works, right? And you use like, like like two hands, like right? instead of just one, you know, you know, just like one double push. It's like one ah, epic push, like ah. no, <laughs> it's actually just like, <laughs> dude, just please just on. get off the ledge, <laughs> just get off the ledge. It has been pretty dominant matches, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Very, I'm, I'd say usually it's like they're feeling one sided. Like, round one, it did go back and forth as 1-1-1 one, one, one kind of thing. Mm -hmm. or, you know, 2-1 sure. at the end. But uh, even then, it was like a super uphill battle. To me. No. That bot is no longer in existence. Revel is dead. Rip. Is dead. <laughs> G Mabel. G. Good old G Mabel. Old G Mabel. Old G Mabel. So we've got Uno Moss tonight. Mm -hmm. It was a quicker week right only four rounds yeah um it just benefits us because again guys if look at look up top there if you're not following nan myself or modern magic mondays mm -hmm. let's talk about your wrong choice of energy decks yeah we can Listen, talk about that Soltai is great it I'm is a big fan of Soltai. hold on let me let me finish my plug real quick okay, and then we'll sorry. talk about why it's Good. bad All against right. teamer um the <laughs> Follow the Twitters. Follow the Twitters. Because I've already decided, and, you know, Nan can do what he wants, but I'm taking over Modern Magic Mondays You're on Saturday. I'm taking it over. Good. Uh, because we're going to do lots of little videos. Ooh. Team Modern Magic Mondays is going to the Baltimore event this weekend. I have so, some new uh, equipment to do some more filming, too. Oh, there we go. See, we're, we're ready to go. Got a nice um, wide-angle lens oh, and stuff. look at him. Um, we're going to be playing in the team event. Nan's playing Legacy. I'm playing Standard. <laughs> and then we have Jaime, who's going to be playing Modern for us. I don't know if he's decided on what he's playing. I he? <laughs> so, I'm, uh, no, spoilers. no spoilers. Okay. I mean, clearly you know what Nan's going to play in Legacy. Yeah, come on. I mean, it's easy. I, I got a scumbag to win something. Uh, I'm playing Sultai Energy. 
Uh, which leads me into our next discussion. That you don't think we should be playing. Something well, no, no, no. Like I, I like Nan's making a skateboarding video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with the deck. I enjoy the deck. The okay. problem that the deck has is the teamer side has lots of removal yes. that we don't have. And Nan's playing Burn. No. no. I don't know if he can play Burn. I, I, I don't want to play Burn. Why would I play Burn? It's 20 instead of 10. That's yeah, really what we're getting what? at. <laughs> uh, but Glorybringer is, is a tough card to deal with. Yes. Um, Glorybringer is a difficult card mm -hmm. to to kill. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, we'd have Raska's Contempt, um, mm -hmm. because they're most of the teamer lists are not running the god, so Raska's Contempt goes right for killing that. Um, and then Hostage Taker, like, so you have to take some damage off of. I've done all those things. Right? That's so you have to try to mm -hmm. do that route. Um, that's the ways to, to deal with it. So I guess you just have to hold on to that stuff. Standards week. No, dude, I got to talk about standard because I got to play it this weekend. Mm -hmm. It's not my choice. I'm doing it for him. So he can go play Legacy. I'm playing nice. standard. I got I to gotta try to, to do this. I got to try to do this. Um, so, I don't know, it, the, I like the list, but I think maybe if we do f find the slot for two Dow Youngs in the sideboard, that might help too. We'll talk about it. Because that, that was, yeah, that was the list that Seth Manfield was running with the two Dow Young, mm -hmm. and I like that idea mm -hmm. of just extra removal, mm -hmm. because that does have another way to deal with bringer and stuff like that mm. because there's I'm, I don't know if your experience with playing it but I've found where I just have a lot of energy sometimes in, in the later stages and I have nothing to do with it until I get like a long tusk cub or something to dump this energy into I don't know if you've had that experience or not yet my experience is just drawing a lot of land oh 